Hey guys, uh, Herf here. Welcome to the morning of day 12. Um, I have a bit of an announcement for this series, and I think, not that anybody's watching it, so nobody's probably really going to care, but it's more for uh, <laughs> for my completeness and me feeling better about it. But I think I am going to, um, I'm going to end this series uh, with the day 14 horde. Uh, I've been playing a parallel series and um, not parallel, not identical. It's a it's a different world. I've been playing on Navis Gain, but I've been playing with these settings, and uh, I've gone through essentially. I'm on like day 45 or something crazy. So these settings are way too easy. Um, I didn't realize how easy they would be. We're on a uh, a mission for uh, for wrecked here, by the way. Uh, we had to find those supplies. But we, of course, have to loot, so... Um, yeah, so anyway, I think what I'm going to do is combine... Ooh, okay. I'm going to break out. Oh, you're not in there, you're in here. So I'm going to combine uh, days 12, 13, and 14 into this episode. Uh, so I'm just going to basically play three hours worth, combine it down into one episode with the Horde Knight... Uh, which should be a freaking breeze, uh, because really it's not going to be that bad. So rather than ramp up the settings and, you know, just sort of do something that I haven't been doing for several days, I, I just wanted to uh, at least finish off the series, uh, if for nobody else, me, just how we intended to start it. And, uh, yeah, that, so that'll be... Um, We'll just drink that. So I think that'll be how uh, how it goes. So we'll play it through day 14. We'll end this series. And I think what I'll do is... Oh, I could totally see behind that. I didn't need to do that. Oh, this place is a mess. Um, yeah, I think when Alpha 20 comes out, what I want to do, honestly, is experiment. I really enjoy playing uh, this game. And uh, what I want to do is experiment um, with some of the, the difficulty settings and... Uh, some other settings and just see if we can make it, you know, a little bit more of a challenge. Probably switch to a maybe like a permadeath situation where I get one life uh, and we just see how far we can go. Or maybe that one life, um, you know, we get a mulligan in the first week or something like that. But one of the my favorite aspects of the game, honestly, is the exploration. Usually all these carcasses mean uh, dog. I'm going to get the old pistol out, although I don't see dog. Is there any way dog can break in? No, I guess not. Uh, yeah, there is. Okay. <laughs> uh. I can't believe my instincts were correct. <laughs> that was scary. Let's see, do you give regular meat or are you a zombie? You're a zombie. So yeah, uh, so I'd like to experiment with the game, understand um, just more about you know the dynamics of it. Uh, I really enjoy playing, like I said, and uh, I want to continue to play. But I just feel like this this series, you know, nobody wants to watch a, a fifty day series or seventy whatever day series that Herf plays. So Is that an iron sledge. Thank you. Couple of books. I don't know what we have. I'm never going to use these, so I'm going to scrap them for iron. Seem to have woken up many things. Grain alcohol. I'm going to scrap those. We'll take... Oh, 
yeah, so I'm really looking forward to um, understanding the game better, kind of figuring out what difficulty is going to work for me. Uh, and I don't want to mess with, really, the settings right now, because I don't know if I can get them back to, uh, you know, exactly how they are if I start messing with it, and then I don't play this for a few days, and I want to go back, and... So, yeah, anyway, we're trying to figure out... Um, trying to figure out the right sort of mix. Uh, what's a good difficulty for me so that I can have, you know, a, a series that lasts a little bit, but at the same time will be, you know, more compelling for folks, more fun to watch. And a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more risky for me. So... Um... So yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get this, get this, uh, these supplies back to wrecked, and uh, we'll pick up another job, and and we'll go from there. And I'll, I will probably see you. Get lots of feet though. Probably see you on. Uh... Oh my goodness. Okay. out of stam there. Uh. So, I don't know where all these guys came from. I'm not sure we've ever been, except for that crazy bunker adventure that we had. Um, that was a lot of zombos. Oop, wrong button. But we can use the experience, so... Stupid face, wrecked. Wrecked him. Great, here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Uh, I've only got one place to spend it. Contract to Dave. Contractor Dave a second time. Okay. Oh, let me guess. You need to buy something. I'd shake your hand, but I'll bet you got dysentery the way you smell. <laughs> Uh, good one, Wrecked. <laughs> well, it's about time you bought something. Jeez, another one. Okay, guys, it is the morning of day 13. Uh, I plan today, today's the day the traders restock. So we just found the snow trader yesterday, so I'm going to hit both traders this morning. See if they have anything good. I have a little bit of stuff to sell them. I'm going to see if they have any weapons or ammo or anything that, that could be good either today or tomorrow. Then the plan is I'm going to come back here uh, and hit, try to do some um, some work on the horde base uh, for tomorrow. And then if there's any time left in the day, we're going to uh, go looting. If you break it, you buy it. What about your face? <clears throat> well, 
I hope you don't have anything good. Because I don't have any money. Oh crap. Ooh, lock picks in the middle of nowhere for no reason. Alright guys, so I think this thing's about as ready as, it, ready as it's going to be. Um, I have plugged up the two bathroom holes here with uh, just a row of cobble each. So they shouldn't be able to get in there because they were trying to get through these walls last time. Uh, they broke a hole here, I plugged that. I got rid of some of the, uh, the little countertops that were out here and accidentally upgraded a couple of these to cement in the dark before I realized I was doing that, so I figured, ah, oh, what the hell, I'll just make it. So these are actually metal, uh, re these are going to be like reinforced concrete, I think. Um, cleaned out this counter, sort of filled this in, made it even so the zombies can't jump up here and just hang out. And I've upgraded around the door, ran out of cement right there because of the other side. So I really don't think we're going to need all that much. I'm thinking, I'm half thinking about even just hanging on the roof. That way I can throw down Molotovs and uh, we're going to have some Molotovs, a, a couple, and we have some pipe bombs and, and a bunch of shotgun ammo. And So I thought it would be more fun to just be up there and throwing crap down on the zombies. So um, I might just pull up to the roof uh, later on, but I think the place is about as good as it's going to be. I'm not really sure what to do. We've got, um, you know, I've got the melee set up in here. But I feel like if I'm in here, the zombies are just going to be trying to get in other parts of the base, so they won't probably follow me. So, I don't know. Not really sure how I want to play it, but um, might just stand up on the roof and throw stuff at them for a while. Then we can always jump down and, and get inside and do some melee, so... Maybe we'll do a bit of both. Anyway, uh, so that's where we stand. It's the morning of day 14. I'm going to hit the house quick and uh, dump some inventory. Then I'm going to go try to pick up a job from Wrecked. And uh, yeah, we'll spend the day trying to scrounge for some more ammo and maybe a weapon and food and all that. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you back for interesting parts of the journey and then we'll see you at Horde Night. Now that you did the job, I guess you ain't all that damn bad after all. I should have seen that coming. I'm gonna take this block. Oh, that actually scared the crap out of me. So we're gonna just wait it out here until the zombies arrive and uh, I'm gonna rain down some some bombs and crap and then when we run out of that stuff uh, we'll just we'll get inside and we'll pop up our hatches. We can try to melee him. I wonder if I should get rid of this door. Maybe I'll get rid of this door, too. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Burn, baby, burn. Disco and burn. Oh, I okay. do that one. No, that one, that one, okay. Some more fire ready here. <laughs> oh, it hit her. off my roof. Oh, did she get on fire too? I want to make sure you all burn evenly. Oh, that wasn't very good. Oh, it still knocked him down. This looks like a good time. A pipe bomb. <laughs> oh, that one bounced away. Last one. Do a little fighting on foot here. Yeah. One dog. Ah, two dogs. <laughs> How about a little? Scare her like that. Oh, loop bag. Uh oh. Behind me. Oh, thought I was loaded. <laughs> this game is so awesome. Uh, whoops. He's going to feel that.
Oh, we haven't even used this one yet. <laughs> what missed? Oh, bad time. Oh. No. Don't hit me. All right, now they're coming. They're getting smarter. It again. All right, let's. Uh... I don't think there's too many left. Though I hear smacking on the building. Huh? Just do a little melee here. Is that? Yeah, you little shit. could repair this. I'm not going to bother to repair it. Where's the fun in that? Oh man, he keeps jumping. Keep jumping. Shot right over his head. Is it winding down? I can't tell. Steps. How did you get in there? We must have climbed over somehow. Let's see what we got in here. A radiator? Night vision goggles. Oh, I've never had those. Looks like that's it. I can hear, um...
some smack, and I think last time we had zombies stuck behind this wall. It looks like we do again. Is that it? Okay. And we'll finish you off with a mighty blow. Alright. I think there was another loot bag or two out here. Let's go see what we got. Well, it was a little more eventful than I thought it would be, but still, not bad. Not bad. And we screwed around, too. I wasn't even really trying, because I didn't care if I died. <laughs> uh, here's a book we haven't read. And I don't really care about the bone knife, but what the heck, we'll take it. And might as well eat this. And we'll scrap the cans for whatever reason. Well, guys, I think that's it. I think that's it for the horde. Um... Yeah, I think that's going to conclude the series. We, um, like I said, I miscalculated uh, sort of the difficulty of this. And as I said, I've been playing a parallel, not parallel series, it's in a, it's in Navisgain. But I've been using these exact um, difficulty settings and um, I've only died once and I'm on day like 45. So you can see here, uh, I think we just hit level 20 at some point during this horde and game stage 37 which isn't very high we still have that one death um that happened when i stepped on the landmine so the only way i die in this situation is if i do something dumb <laughs> so um we'll probably revisit you know the difficulty settings and the game mode and all that when uh, alpha 20 comes out because i'd love to see supposedly there's going to be a lot of um some changes to the way the uh, the random worlds generate. Hopefully, they'll uh, they'll be better. Although I haven't seen real issues with this one. A couple of weird roads and things like that that I found as we were riding around the last couple of days on the mini bike, sort of branching out a little bit. But um, there's a whole ton of businesses. It's pretty cool. This is a great area. It's a great map. Um, I wouldn't mind using it again and exploring it more. I'll probably play. You know. Uh, on this map, I'm just going to change some of the settings, and uh, I enjoy the exploration part of it. You know, going through, uh, you know, POI buildings and dungeon-style buildings that I haven't gone through before, and, uh, you know, the discovery of it is more fun for me than just standing here trying to devise ways to kill hordes and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, I haven't decided, like, what, what I'm going to do um, in Alpha 20, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, but anyways, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate the support. And uh, if you find yourself enjoying what you do, what we do, throw us a like, comment, subscribe. All these things do help us out in the end. Uh, check out some of our other series if you haven't. Um... And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll we'll see you back here uh, playing uh, Alpha 20 in uh, a couple of months.